What is up, everybody? Sean D. Man here, and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2. We are going to start up the final episode of Season 2. No coming back. Let's get it. Oh, man, this, this is... I've enjoyed this so f really, really much. It has been really fun to play. All right. Let's see what we got. We know Rebecca's dead, which it was already kind of looking that, that way anyway. It's just kind of how she was looking after giving birth to the baby. But I read with the whole Arvo thing that the outcome probably would have still been the same. You know, whether you would have kept the bag or returned the bag to him. Um, the outcome probably still would have just been the same. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save men is of <clears throat> survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Drive down now, or I'm gonna fucking call. shoot it! We I'll do it! it. Drop it! Drop, Drop it! it. Don't, don't fucking move! Don't move. Oh, I said don't move! move. Everybody be cool! Oh my god! All right, let's see who, let's see who survived. How are you shooting that with one hand? Get out of here. We gotta get the baby. Hang on, baby. I'm coming for you. Getting that baby. Holy shit. I didn't even see him out there. Good work, Clem. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <laughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker. I kill every one of you. Oh, where's Bonnie? If I could just get over to that side of the wall, I could maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over towards the woods. Hey, it'll give him something to think about. I'll, I'll try. Yeah? Okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Hey, what are you? Luke, no! Oh, she's alive. Uh, uh, 
damn it. <sighs> Luke, are you okay? Uh, he got me in the leg, but uh, I, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! Don't push me, I'm begging you. I to Kenny, what are you doing? I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now! This is what you want, Dash. You bullet. On the back, back on it. Fight with the boy. You think I'm bluffing? Get out here! Uh oh. Please, don't push me. I to look if everything's in order. Stop squirming, damn it! Jane? That's a you could have just stabbed him in the back. That's a weird way to kill the guy. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. <coughs> are you, are you okay? I, I think so. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Are you sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! Kenny, his, his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. Is it his house? Food? Please, please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no, it's true. We have place, not far, for food. See, mm -hmm. he wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. I, I think we can trust him. He wants to live as much as we do. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. 
It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Hmm. Follow me, I thank you. Just <coughs> give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. <laughs> you're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do <coughs> I know. Come on, slow pokes. Hmm. Well. Need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. That's enough. Leave him alone. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Uh, okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Hmm. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. They're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm 
sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Hmm. All right. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Oh, what a mess. <clears throat> How did we get here? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow. Lean up against a tree. Bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? Bruh. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. Don't be rushing me. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean... I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Well, how bad does it look? So how's it look? Hmm. I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. I got even with him. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. So, this is gonna hurt like hell. You could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> Holy fucking hell. You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. Gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart? He'll be tough, just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it, but yeah, that guy had a pair on him. 
You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. Oh, sweet. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. So far, pretty, uh, pretty mild. Nothing too crazy. But I know, I mean, it's, it's episode five, so it's going to get really crazy for sure. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo. We're not trying to be mean. <coughs> we just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it. I knew this was going to happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Thank. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm it down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You're natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, they're out. I thought it was like a shed or something they were going to stay in, but they're pretty out in the open. <clears throat> I guess that's fine. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's... That's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. 
Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people and buy them. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Hear, hear. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't look over there banging her. I wanted to forget about all this shit for like <coughs> ten minutes. Ten minutes? Uh, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. Well, oh, that's pretty cute. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. <sighs> Shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man. That's an interesting thing. So can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change the mouths. All right. Uh At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. All right, let's go to Jane first. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. Oh, that's the good stuff. I 
don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want a sip? It's okay. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver. <coughs> cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Don't get too crazy, Jane. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Well, at least you're trying. That's all that matters. Now, let's... Okay, get the stupid... There we go. Let's go talk to Arvo. I'm... I'm sorry about your sister. That was it. All right, now let's go talk to Kenny. She could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I, I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. No, it's true. But I... 
I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there. Whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. Good for you, Kenny. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watching on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. The gang's all together. I'm just, okay, I'm gonna try to talk to Arvo one more time. Oh, okay, never mind. Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. How you, Clem? It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. Hmm. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That yeah. makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! Shut up, Arvo. Kenny, calm it down. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. <coughs> Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, that was pretty good.